All right, unboxing. Go Sun's new E-Tray. It can be heated by sun in the tube or after the sun goes down. It can cook your food at 350 degrees with I think 100 watts. Use the 100 watts. I'm so excited. I could hardly even open this correctly. <laughs> there we go. Open it at the wrong end. I'm gonna send an extra scrubby. I've never used these scrubbies. I just use my my uh, pressure pressure hose to clean up the inside of the tubes. Oh, look at this. How cool is that? It's like a little heating pad. And it came with a little plug-in. Please read user's manual for it. Yeah, right. Who reads user's manuals? That plugs in right there. Yeah, plugs in right there. And then this end goes into my solar battery bank down there. It's at 99% while running an underbed fridge and an ice cream maker. <laughs> That's hilarious. So, yeah. Uh, something else I'm noticing is that uh, it's gonna be a little harder for me to store this. I'll have to figure out something else because I always take the handle off of my, this unscrews on their other models. Because when you close this up, this part, elevates it so I stashed this right underneath one of the ends for storage so I don't have to store it that's such a long item so I don't know what we're gonna do about this electric one I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to do something different I have to store it somewhere else this looks like a better seal too normally the seal is very very shallow and sometimes it doesn't fit very well. Um, it, doesn't, it doesn't seal very well. And this looks like it seals much better. It's got two lines of like raisedness that the other one doesn't have. So it looks like it'll fit really snug to efficientize the, uh, the heat of this. Yeah, this is interesting. So I'll be able to cook. So I'll be able to cook year round with this Go Sun day or night that's pretty revolutionary for me that ability this is gonna be like a this is gonna be a game changer for sure go sun sent me this i want to disclose that go sun sent me this uh, for review um it's the only thing they've ever sent me so i'm really grateful because i use go sun like more than anyone else and I think that I document it on YouTube more than anyone else using their GoSun so I'm grateful that uh, that GoSun has, has gifted me this these are only $59 that's actually a really good deal this GoSun Sport is going for $219 and and then they're selling this this model with this new upgrade for like $250 on sale I think right now so yeah, or if you just want to buy this and upgrade your old Go Sun Sport, and it's only $59 to do so. That's freaking awesome. Uh, these nuts are kind of weird. They're going to have to be cleaned around. I'm going to gather food inside there. Seems like it would be better if they, I don't know, came up with some kind of a, I don't know, even even just a, a single flat flathead screwdriver would be a better um, screw to go with, it seems like, because it would be easier to clean out than, uh, especially if the if the indention went all the way across, like some flat-headed uh, screws do, instead of being like recessed like this. 
and having the four points of needing to be cleaned out, that's going to be kind of annoying. But I, I fortunately have a sprayer. I guess other people have sprayers in their sinks with hot water too. So it shouldn't be too hard to clean out. I wonder how waterproof this is though. It's got a little light that turns on to let you know it's on. This is it. going to be interesting. So I was going to make some... I was gonna make some my sheep's cheese with some beans um, and some eggs, some of my farmer's eggs for breakfast. But um, I wonder if I should do it with this electric just to ch check it out first, even though it's sunny out. I'll wait till it's overcast and then I'll give it a proper needed review. Dang, I just came out to put the cheese on and this last tail end of the sun, it just went behind that cloud. All right, luckily, this is a good opportunity to try the new electric. There we go. There we go. Red light's on. This will be interesting. Put my eggs in later so they're jammy. Good ship. All right, I guess it's important to see what the battery is. It was 99%. And it's only 98 now. This thing is 100 watts. So uh, I was a little concerned that it was going to be heavy, uh, heavy to use it on my, my little battery, but it's been going for... 15 minutes maybe I'm not smelling anything yet it's not putting out any steam we'll see it had already been cooking for like 15 minutes before the sun went behind the clouds alright let's see what it, let's see how much battery is left in the, in the end awesome I can smell it I don't think it's steaming yet it doesn't get quite quite as hot as uh, it does in the sun I think it only gets up to 350 degrees Whereas in the sun, it can get up to 550. Oh, that's been good. I like how it fits. The um, the seal fits a lot better, which is going to be scarier for it building up too much heat in the sun. Like it exploded on me last year, but um, but it is going to cook more efficiently. Oh, wow. I cooked the eggs real quick. All right, it's done. Oh, wow. Yeah. All right. Electric dinner is served. That's crazy. Unplug it. So we can stand up. There we go. Cool. Oh, and I bet... The tube is going to cool down a lot faster too now, because it, it wasn't the uh, the tube that was heating up. It's the element on the bottom of this tray. Unplug my unplug the ghost on and replug in my fridge. to that farmer's pork from down the road. I traded this like weeks ago. Let's see if it's still good. It didn't smell. It still tastes good. I love having a fridge. I was able to eat half of that farmer's package of pork, stick it back in the fridge, and it's been at least two weeks sitting there. Mmm. Mmm. Yum. It wouldn't even have lasted two hours without that fridge. 
in the last two weeks because I have it set for 41 degrees. Yum. All right, stress some of this in the back. Man, I can't believe that I only put it, this egg in there for five minutes. It must be getting every bit of that 350 degrees. That's, that's cool. Cheese. Sheep cheese. Liver. Chicken liver. Chicken eggs. Hi. Want some carrot? Some cooked carrot? She's like, what the hell? That got liver juice on it. That's gross. Got chicken cooties. Good sheep. Well, I'd say this new electric ghost on tray is freaking awesome. I mean, it just made the ghost on even awesomer. I don't understand how that'd be possible, but there it is. I can now cook with it at night. That's so cool. Let's see how much battery it took. It took about 10%. It says 90%. 10%. That's not bad. It cooked pretty quick. Honestly, I think this electric might actually be at this point with my reflector being so old and dirty and deteriorated and lacking its uh, original reflection that got the tube up to 500 degrees max i i'm willing to bet that this is actually going to be quicker at cooking than that now i don't think that gets up to 500 degrees anymore because this cooked just as fast as it does in the full sun with this electric it only took it like 20 minutes so wow that's interesting that's cool that's a, a lot better i honestly i got this like oh, weeks ago and in the mail from go sun and it's just been so sunny and uh the only time that i've thought about using it is at night the only time i've really needed to but I thought with the 100 watts, that's like twice as much as this fridge. And I figured that because it said 350 degrees, I figured it might take like up to an hour to cook or something like that, or at least 45 minutes. Because usually the ghost sun cooks in like half an hour or so. But uh, yeah, I figured that it would drain my bad my battery um, pretty bad when I already have like, I'm on the fence of having a big enough battery to be able to power that fridge overnight like i cannot consistently power um this freezer as a freezer at its lowest setting i, I can't i can't uh power it through the night my, my little battery is only 615 watt hour and um maybe if it was new but it's a hand-me-down of uh, from a hand-me-down so it's been used for like years and uh when when it gets down down to 50 percent or less it oftentimes just bottoms out and goes to zero and then I would wake up in the morning and everything in my fridge would be, um, and my freezer would be thawed out. Ice cream would be melted and everything. So I'm actually grateful, I'm really grateful with the results of this. I thought that with my small size battery, my electric fridge freezer, and, and the nighttime not being able to trickle charge in, I uh, I thought that, that this would be not even viable to use at nighttime. But if it only took 10%, then I can easily, having that at 41 degrees, it can last through the night, power through the night with my battery and, and uh, afford that 10% easy. So uh, that'll run all night at fridge and in the morning. Um, it won't be below 50%. Probably be around 60 or 70 percent. You know, I just realized I could use this tray for since it's the bottom, it's actually heating up and it's not the tube. That means that I could plug it in and leave it outside the tube and line it with whatever I need to dehydrate. It's an electric dehydrator, basically. Interesting.